ADC Bat is a company that sells lithium iron phosphate LifePo4 batteries on Amazon. They sent me this battery to test. This is a 12.8 volt, 7.8 amp hours, rated at 99.84 watt hours. They saw some of my videos online or on the channel testing other LifePo4 batteries, and they wanted me to test theirs, so they sent this over. Let's see how it fares today. So we're going to hook up this CBA4 device right here which is a West Mountain Radio computerized battery analyzer version 5. Did I say 4? I meant 5. CBA-V. <laughs> CBA-5. That's what it is right there. And I'm going to go ahead and click on detect right here. And it detects it as an 8 amp hour, which is close. 14.4 volts and 5 cells. Now, there was a couple people who came along after my last battery test, including KADMRD, he, and he knows more about batteries than I do. So I'm not questioning what he said or what others said, saying that LifePo4 batteries are always four cells. Well, this one's reading at five cells, and several others have read at five cells. So two things. Number one, if all LifePo4 batteries at five cells, then why does this West, West Mountain Radio software, when I have this battery type right here chosen, a LifePo4 right at the top there, why is it reading at five cells? If that's not an option for LifePo4, then that cell, that cell field should be grayed out and it shouldn't be detecting batteries at more than four cells. So I don't know who's correct. I, I, I would tend to agree with Mike that LiPo4 batteries are all four cells, but I would I, I think that West Mountain Radio is also knows what they're talking about, and their software is the one that's reading this at five cells. So I'm, and it doesn't detect the voltage. Yeah, if I if well actually it, it detected the voltage at 14.4. This battery clearly states it's a 12.8 volt battery at 7.8 amp hours. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to change this to 12.8 volts and 7.8 amp hours and four cells. I'm going to change that and I'm going to test it like that cutoff is 10 volts now some of you commented on the last video i did you thought my software cut off at 12.5 volts that's why this that's why the test ended there i don't know if you can see this or not but right here in the middle of the screen right here it says cutoff voltage is 10.0 okay and i didn't change that that's that's where that was test amps is one amp per hour and i can i can change that and i plan to do some amplifier test which is the section down here at the bottom right of the screen soon but i want to know if this battery here is rated at 12.8 volts at 7.8 amp hours that's pretty specific it's pretty specific that that is being rated that way it's not 8.0 it's 7.8 so that tells me that you know they've maybe done a really good calculation of their batteries i'm going to click on start there and you can see behind me there okay and it is starting up at 14 something volts okay started at uh, 14 4 volts is about where it was starting so they rate this battery at 12.8 volts and it started at 14 4. that's not a bad thing in fact I've, I've noticed this is not the first chinese battery i've been sent after starting to do these videos with battery testing I've been sent three or four or five different batteries so far, and a common theme is they're all rated at 12.8 volts. What does that mean? Somebody who knows more about batteries than I do, what does 12.8 volts mean? Because I think they should be 13.8 volts, not 12.8 volts. But these aren't car batteries, but they're 12 volt batteries, but they're 13.8 volts, which is what your radio is looking for. But these aren't really made for radios. You see my dilemma. <laughs> I really don't know. I really, I honestly don't know. I don't know what they should be. Are they rating them wrong at 12.8? Or is that a different battery type? Because this sucker's reading at 14.4 right now. I don't know. We're running. We can see the, the amber light here. So I'm going to click pause on the recording and come back to you guys once this is complete. The next day. Okay, that was a successful test. I think we did really well for this uh, 7.8 amp hour battery. We can see right here that it didn't drop off until it got down to like, like it's rated at 7.8 amp hours. And if we look at the completed chart over here, I'll put a screenshot over here because you guys can't see that very well. It actually came in at 8.19 amp hours. 
and 105.5 watt hours it's advertised as 99.84 watt hours so this battery outperformed what it was advertised as and i just i just i, I reread this um just now because i wanted to give more information here this is pretty cool they have their email address down at the bottom of the battery right here support at adcbat.com right there they've got some instructions up here what to, it says use a lipo 4 battery charger on it okay these batteries here that with the prongs on them they're a lot of the times they just have a name on them and nothing else they're really kind of like generic looking this one doesn't look generic at all this one looks great i think it's uh well made i looked them up on amazon just now it looks like they make a 100 200 and a 300 amp hour battery that would be fun to test but this one right here looks like it went for about 7.6 uh yeah about seven almost eight amp eight hours it got to eight hours in about right here so it started to die around the seven point 7.6 mark uh, but it didn't get down below 12 volts until 7.8 which is what it's rated at it's rated 12.8 volts at 7.8 amp hours okay but it kept going for a little bit longer until the bms cut it off around what does that say around nine volts really and the testing software like i told you guys in the beginning the testing software is set to test uh when it's set to cut off at 10 volts so this is a straight line down, so I assume this happened pretty quickly. You know what? I'm pretty impressed overall. You know, the software is telling me that it's performing better than what it's advertised as. So I'll put a link to this battery in the description below. Let me know if any of you guys have used this and what you think about it. 73. Which is a mess, West Mountain Radio uh, computerized battery. Blah!